Okay, we're looking at the knee today. Um, the first thing we're going to do is outline the patella, one with pen, and note its movement during flexion and extension of the knee. So, just looking at this knee here, we've got the patella wobbling medial and, medial and laterally. Quite flexible under the skin surface there. So, what we're going to do is going to draw it. And we know that the patella is flat at the base and it's actually pointed at the apex. So, we're going to draw around the patella in the shape of the patella. So, I'm not being able to sort of feel that exactly, but I know the shape and I can draw it on just by the clues I'm getting from the palpation. Okay, so that in extension is the point of the patella. So we're now going to ask our um, model to um, hang their knee over the edge of the bed. Inflection. And now we're going to see where the patella is now. And immediately, the base of the patella has moved. We're not as easily able to move the patella from side to side because it's in the groove of the articular um, surface on the top of the femur and it's not as easy to feel the apex because the patella tendon is now more um, is now in tension but the apex is about here so we're now drawing the patella around in flexion so the patella's moved from this position to this position from flexion and extension We're now going to look at the condyles of the knee. So we're looking first for the knee joint space. So we're starting with the edge of the patella, which you can feel here. So we're fixing the skin, moving the skin around. You can see this edge, this bony edge, which is the edge of the patella. So from that edge of the patella, then we're starting to press in and to feel bony prominence just below, circular, centred on the white dot there, and that is on the condyle of the femur. And then just moving anterior to that point, you can start to feel the edge of the femoral condyle, and we know what it looks like, so we're going to draw it in as it looks. So from this bony clue that we're getting, just here and here, you can feel the edge of the joint of the condyle of the femur. And then we know what the tibial condyle looks like. It's flat. So we'll draw that in flat where we feel the bony prominence. And we've got the uh, tibial tuberosity here. So that looks like so. So here we have the joint space, quite clearly located. We're now looking for the lateral head of the fibula. So we're feeling for the joint space between the femur and the tibial plateau. And we're moving about a centimetre down and a centimetre back. And we're just putting the palm of our fingers onto the actual skin, moving the skin around, and it's quite clear there's a bony point just about here. You can feel quite clearly. I'm going to mark that, and again, you know what it looks like. I'm going to draw it in. So we've now got the fibula, the tibia, and the femoral condyle. I'm going to mark that a bit bigger marked on here. So as our model now extends their leg and flexes their leg, we actually see the, the joint here. Okay, moving to the medial aspect of the right leg, we can do exactly the same thing. So we've got the patella, which we can draw in and then we can feel for the femoral condyle. 
medial aspect this time. And again, I can feel the burning points. Put my thumb in there. And because we know what the shape of it, it's actually more rounded and it's easier to feel. And then looking at the tibial plateau, you know it's flat and straight before it's in the tibial tuberosity. So quite clearly. And we're looking for the epicondyle. I think the epicondyle is here. And obviously we don't have a head of fibula on the medial aspect. So the medial aspect is without the fibula. So bring those two together. We get our model to extend their knee and flex the knee. That's the end of the knee.